insane. My mom had me tested. So my friend posted this on her wall the other day. Would you rather have one million today or one penny doubled each day for the next 30 days? I thought it was appropriate to post it on my math page, Math by Fives. It got a lot of people talking. So I ask you, which one's better? The million today or the pennies? Penny. 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 So here's the idea about the pennies. You start with one, then you get two, then you get four, then you get eight, then you get 16, 32, and wow, look at that. You have a geometric series. And in order to see the partial sum of a geometric series, you're gonna need a formula. Leonard, how many pennies do we have, Leonard? So here's my two cents on the problem. Over here, we have a geometric series. This one, where what? We start with a penny and it doubles every day. Oh boy, for how many days? 30, okay. So the partial sum of a geometric series is given to you by this. Yes, SN, where N is gonna be the number here, days. A1 is your initial starting value. Uh-huh, it's gonna be a penny. And then R is gonna be our base. So let's go, let's throw this up in there. Sure. So then, we're gonna have S30, that's gonna be point zero one. That was the initial amount that you started with. And then, this is gonna be one minus, what was our base? Two, because it doubled every day. Two, to the, wait for it, wait for it, 30. Uh-huh, divided by, 1 minus 2, and then when we pound all that out, we're going to get 10,737,418.23. And then that's my two cents on the problem. Bazinga. Bazinga. I bet you got a big bang out of that, huh? <laughs> well, at least in theory. Not